Hey there guys, so this was my build for the DIY farmer's walks. So these pieces are 1800 long, 200 wide and 75 mil thick. I already had some others that were exactly the same except for the red ones, they were 50 mil thick. So I just stacked the two of them, well I stacked them on top of each other and then just, you know, screwed them together um, using some decent screws, 150 mil, wanted to make sure that one, it would never come apart, but also the thread on the screw was really important because it just made sure that it stuck together really well. I drilled a few holes down into the other posts that I had, um, and then just used the driver and put a few screws in. I'm pretty sure I put five of them in, just wanted to make sure that it was gonna hold together realistically throughout the um, you know, life of this piece of equipment, dropping it a few times, the weight's going to disperse anyway, so I wasn't overly concerned. One thing I will say is, make sure you get the end square, so that's why I put one screw at one end and then went up the other end and then put the other end, so I made sure that it was you know completely square and then I put the rest of the screws in. Then I simply just repeated for the other side. This is what they looked like once I'd put them together. So, yeah, near enough, square, very, very close. Stacked them on top of each other, just so you can get a bit of a perspective. Then comes the paint. So, just gave them a, a spray. I didn't bother with an undercoat. I'm not that precious. I really couldn't care less because they're going to be outside and they're going to take a few chips every now and again. For the uprights, I used these 100 by 100, um, and they were 600 mil long. Then the handles and the other pieces of wood. So the handles were 300 mil long, 53 mils um, thick, so really decent. And then I put the little bits of the 150 because I needed the handles to pull up and into the upright because that just reinforced the whole, you know, design. When you're grabbing it and lifting up, because obviously the weight's kind of pushing to those ends, it just meant that there was less pressure on the screws holding the handles in from either end. So just made obviously four of them. That's what they looked like. I threaded the, drilled the screws obviously through the posts and into the dowel. So um, that's what they looked like. That's what they looked like after they were painted. And then I just attached them to the sleepers just with some brackets. Then I was making the plates where I put the um, weight plates on. So that was just 100 mil, the dowel, um, 43 mil. So a little bit of slack when I put the plates on, nothing too extreme. I couldn't find anything that was 45. If I could, I would have sanded it down a fraction just so that the plates would fit nice and snug. But um, the reality is I didn't have that. So the piece of board that they were on was uh, 240mm um, and 450mm long and 30mm deep. So a little bit of overlap on the, the posts, not a lot. Um, with the posts they weren't exactly the widths that they said because you pick them up from a hardware store and they tend to be a mil or two over. So um, I just lined them up, then I ended up drilling through into the um, farmer's walk and yeah, just attached them. The reason I left the screw sticking up on the dowel handle was obviously if I screwed the whole way down through with the 150 mil screws, I'd have some screw sticking out and that would just hit against the wood. So once I'd secured the um, plate in place, I then just drilled it in further and made sure that you know it was nice and flush. So very, very simple. Um, this is what they look like when they're all attached. And then I gave them a quick coat of paint and this is what they ended up looking like. So a very, very easy build, very cost effective and they work very, very well. So, um, and this is them in use. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to 
comment below, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day wherever you are.